every mile, every calorie, every rep. When you're working hard, it all counts, and everything has to be accurate. I'm Jaime Rivera with Pocket Now, and this is Pocket Now Fitness. CES 2016 was proof that a lot of companies are out there to build wearables that do fitness to a certain degree. Some of these are good enough to solve some needs, but the fact of the matter is that most are still experimenting. Serious fitness requires a little more of the things that are already proven to work, and never have we seen a more holistic approach to fitness than with the new Under Armour Health Box made by HTC. See, most trackers can do a decent job at just that, tracking. But if you're the type that's already invested in fitness, or even if you're starting out in the fitness lifestyle, you know that you'll need more than just a step counter to do things right. The UA Health Box is actually three products, and once you get to know what they do blended together, you'll understand why it's worth considering as your future fitness solution. The box is rather large, and there's a reason for that. Inside, you'll see the UA scale, and yeah, you heard that right, a scale. And in addition to that, you also get the UA band and the UA heart rate strap. The whole idea is that these three products combined with the UA record app will provide the most demanding of users with accurate results. I personally never thought that I'd ever be reviewing a scale, but this product is genius. Regularly, you need two gadgets to measure your weight and body fat percentage, none of which are either cheap or good looking, but here, all you have to do is step on the scale and it calculates both, and then sends the results to the UA record application through your Wi-Fi network. The results are obviously horrible if you review a fitness product after eating and drinking so much in Christmas, but uh, this is the smartest way to fix that, and we all know that smart weight training is more about your body fat percentage than your actual weight. The design and the glass finish of the scale are very futuristic, and it's smart enough to detect your profile from within eight others when you set it up for the first time. You can also control it from the UA record application, and believe it or not, it even has controls depending on where you're stepping on it. My only problems were really that the results were not always the same when stepping on the scale twice at the same time, but that's mainly because it inherits most of the problems that most scales have, meaning depending on where you step on it or how you balance yourself, your results will definitely vary. Another important thing to point out is that it doesn't seem to work well on a carpet floor, so just remember to keep it over a harder tiled surface like a bathroom floor, for example. Then there's the combo of the UA band and the UA heart rate strap. The chest strap is optional as the UA band has its own optical heart rate sensor, but if you want true accuracy in measuring your calories burned in a workout, the chest strap is the way to go. It's also the funniest way to play Iron Man as well, as the strap has a blue indicator that lights up whenever it's standing by to assist the UA band. As with all chest straps, don't expect it to be comfortable or even fashionable with this protruding disc design, but then again, as with all chest straps, it's the price you pay for accurate measurements. The real story here is mainly with the UA band. HTC outdid itself with this design mainly because it looks like your average step canner, but it's far more than just that. It sports a 1.3 inch PMO LED display that lights up whenever you press the button, and pressing the right arrow takes you to the basic controls of the band that include battery information, music controls, and even silent vibrating alarms whenever you sleep. From the main clock screen sliding to the left or right will take you to your current activity, sleep, beats per minute, and take you to different fitness activities that you can track in real time. So far you can use the band for running, cycling, weight training, and walking, and this is where things get cool. See, you can actively track these without the need of the phone or the heart rate strap, making it convenient for you to start your run without the need of the phone, and making use of the built-in motion G-sensor or gyro to calculate your run for you. I actually measured the results against an iPhone that wasn't connected to the band, and the results were very close to accurate. The band was even smart enough to detect my runs without me telling it that I was doing so, which is rather convenient if you forget it as well. And all this said, if you do want accuracy, then yes, you can bring the phone along with you to use its GPS, or bring the chest strap if you want accurate results when compared to what the optical heart rate sensor can do. 
Now, matching the band with the heart rate strap is actually very cool. This is one of the few, if not the only, bands out there that I've seen that provides you with heart rate zone information at a glance. Once the band detects that you're wearing the chest strap, it'll provide you with a blue LED indicator that tells you you're connected. And then the color changes to green, yellow, orange, or red, depending on the heart rate zone you're on. The band is actively calculating the calories that you're burning, but remember that not all calorie burn is equal. So this is where using the band is actually smart. If you want to burn some body fat, then make sure you stay in either green or yellow. And if you want to improve your physical condition, then you have to go to either orange or red. There was clearly a lot of thought put into how the band works overall, but this is just one of the examples. Another is the fact that it's extremely comfortable at weight training no matter what you're doing. It's water resistant up to 2 ATM, and it's even smart enough to detect your sleep automatically even when you don't tell it you're doing so. I also love the fact that the 110 milliamp hour battery can last up to a week, which is rather convenient for daily sleep tracking, and charging the band from zero to full is sometimes achieved while you're taking a shower, which is even better. And then even more thought was placed to this UA record application. All three products sync periodically, and its pie chart approach allows you to know how close you are to meeting your goals in either steps, fitness, or sleep, in addition to helping you log the way you felt during the day. The application also allows you to log nutritional activity manually, but uh, you can also sync with MyFitnessPal, in addition to connecting to other competing services like Fitbit, Garmin, and others, and also updating your Google Fit information automatically. And to top it off, the UA Record application is also a social network, so you can also challenge your friends whenever you want to do any particular fitness activity. Overall, these products do live up to what we've come to expect from HTC. Yes, you can purchase these products separately, but I'd highly suggest you buy them together. See, a true fitness lifestyle requires a holistic approach, and very few products out there do a good job at working together. Half your training happens in the kitchen, and it's just as important as what you do on the road or at the gym. At $400, which is the average price tag for some smartwatches that claim to do fitness, this is a far better solution on my book. I'd prefer to spend that sum of money in three products that are actually focused on doing fitness right than on another half-baked smartwatch that can do fitness to a certain degree. I'm actually very pleased with my experience testing these Under Armour solutions. I think it'll be a smarter way for me to shave off all the excess body fat I picked up in Christmas, and I'm sure it would be a good solution for you too, whether you're a beginner or an expert that's looking for smarter tools. Friends, just like this, we have other episodes of Pocket Now Fitness, so make sure you also follow us on social media and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera on Instagram at Jaime Rivera, and you can now follow us on Vessel as well at Vessel.com slash Pocket Now. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.